Bonnie, happy Friday night! Oh my gosh, I hope you guys want to hang out a little bit and chat. I'm doing another flashback Friday video. I went downstairs into my candle collection in the basement and I pulled out 24 Bath & Body Works candles that I have never burned. And I don't think I'm ever going to burn them and I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> So oh, this is kind of fun. Valentine's Day weekend. We're staying home. The weather is terrible. My husband and I really don't go out for Valentine's Day ever. Like in the 20 years we've been married, uh, we're not big Valentine's Day um, dinner out kind of people. We'd rather order in. We'd rather watch uh, like Frasier, <laughs> Seinfeld. <laughs> And especially now that my husband's had um, some of these health issues, we're definitely staying home. But he did get me a Bath & Body Works gift card for Valentine's Day and a couple of other little cute things. I got him some retro toys. <laughs> he loves Space 99, Space 1990, Space 1999, right? Yeah, okay, <laughs> I didn't get that right. And I got him a Space 1999 uh, vintage... Um, interesting uh, toy. So <laughs> remember the episode of Seinfeld when um, Jerry goes over to his girlfriend's house and she's got like that wall of vintage toys? That's my husband's dream. He loves anything from the 50s, 60s, and 70s retro stuff. So that's kind of fun. So whew, we got to dig in. Oh, before I forget, Duran Duran, can you guys believe is a nominee for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which happens to be in Cleveland. But I don't know, when I heard that, I'm going, no, no, they cannot be that old. <laughs> that was my other Flashback Friday revelation, that, oh my gosh, Duran Duran is up for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which by the way, I clearly remember when they were trying to get the Rock Hall in Cleveland and WMMS was doing this whole big um, push and then we got the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and um, now like, what, 30 years later, 40 years? I don't know how long it's been. Duran Duran is up for a nomination. I hope they get it. I really do because you know me. I'm a huge Duran Duran fan. <laughs> so, okay. Now we got to talk about candles as I went off on my Duran Duran uh, <laughs> kick. So... There are some candles in my collection that I have never burned. And the funny thing is, the longer I have an unburned candle, the more I never want to burn it. It's funny because each season, obviously, like, I buy a lot of candles. I review as many as I can fit in for you guys. There's always a couple that I don't get to that end up in my collection as unburned candles. And the weird thing is, the older they get, the more I don't want to burn them because I'm like, I don't want to mess them up because <laughs> it's like a pristine candle then. So I was going to go through these just to show you what I have. I mean, it's funny because I really didn't start collecting these candles as much um, past like four or five years ago when I became a vlogger. I mean, like most people, I would just burn them toss the jar and be done. Now I have a lot of half burn candles because I go through so many. I really wish I had my Yankee candle collection from like 10 years ago. I ended up burning through like my entire collection. I had some good ones in that collection too. But um, I don't really have anything that's like super old. So I do have an older marshmallow fireside. I don't know if you remember this one with the white wax. I swear, this one smells a little bit stronger and a little bit creamier. That one was wonderful. I have a black cherry Merlot. Didn't burn this one. These are the white wax. It's funny. There's nothing better than smelling an unburned candle. It's funny because once you burn a candle, it does take on just a little bit of a different like chemical makeup, but it's kind of fun to have all these unburned candles. I got a hot cocoa and cream with the squirrel. Never burn that one. I probably won't. <laughs> I always keep a crushed candy cane in my collection unburned. One of my favorite scents. This is not a strong candle, though, at all. Happy Easter, Tutti Frutti Jelly Bean coming back. Oops, this one's really, really light on screen. Oh, my gosh. 
gosh, this one smells so good. It's funny to look at the different um, wicks too. Bath and Body Works is very inconsistent with their wicks. Um, sometimes you get those really, really tiny skinny wicks. And then other times um, you get those thicker wicks. But it's kind of interesting how Bath and Body Works, um, the wicks are usually always different. This one is kind of a combination. One wick is like really thick and the other one's thin. <laughs> Go figure. Remember the dust covers, you guys? This was the um, mint chocolate milkshake. And what's weird is I got this odd black lid with it, but I have one of these um, in pristine condition here. Let me move this. I got so much stuff on my desk. Okay, let me grab the next bin here. Next up, I usually like to try and keep holiday collection candles. I have this one. I love Vampire Blood. This was so pretty, this jar. And then the sister one with the red wax. Look at this one. <gasps> Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that red wax. I love when Vampire Blood has got the red wax. So I have that one. Um, I have a strawberry pound cake that's got the pink wax from White Barn. A lot of people thought this one wasn't as strong. I just wanted to keep an unburned... Um, a strawberry pound cake in my collection because you guys know how much I love that candle. Oh my goodness. Fresh balsam. This is a pretty old one. White wax. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I have got a winter candy apple. I usually try to keep the candles that came in like the bags or the boxes, you know, like the holiday bags or boxes. Um, I usually don't burn these because I, I, I want to keep these as collectibles. And then what else do I have? Oh, I have a Honeycrisp apple. Oddly enough, I almost prefer Honeycrisp apple unburned. There are so many candles that I use as aromatherapy during the different seasons. And Honeycrisp Apple is one of them that I really like as an unburned candle. Sometimes I just like to smell um, a cold candle. And Fireside is one of those candles too. I've always said, Fireside smells like Santa Claus's house. I love Fireside cold. You're my favorite white tea and sage. This is actually not, this is from the Mother's Day collection, I think. I don't even like this one. <laughs> I'm like, I'm never going to burn it. I am not a huge fan of white tea and sage, and I don't know why. This is not a favorite of mine at all. I love this one. Cherry Frost. Oh my gosh, look at this. Is this not gorgeous? The Cherry Frost candle. This is from, I don't even know, probably like five years ago, maybe. I really wish I had more in these, in my collection of like these older ones. But you know, I wasn't really, um, reviewing as much then so I would just burn and toss. I have a iced cranberry scone. I love this one cold. This one is amazing. Oh, these smell so good. You ever go back like a season and just like smelling like uh, vanilla bean noel? This is the peace jar. Oh, that was so pretty. Um, I love vanilla bean noel. This is really a year-round scent. That smells so good. And then we have ocean driftwood. I like to put this out as a decoration. However, um, I hate the scent of ocean driftwood. It's like that mahogany. Not loving this one at all. I've got one more crate here for you guys. I've got a couple of more unburned ones in the basement that um, I know I have. I just haven't found them. <laughs> I should keep them all together. I'm kind of glad I did this because I'm going to put these crates in a separate area and mark them like unburned candles because sometimes I just mix everything up. I have a white caramel cold brew that I never burned in this pattern. Oh, I love this one so much. That one is so nice. I have a hot fudge sundae. Look at this one. This one is really strong on the hot fudge. That They need to bring that one back. I don't think we've had one. Ice cream bar last year was similar, but not completely the same. Angel food cake. The crayon candle. A lot of people thought this um, smelled like crayons. I didn't. I loved it. I thought it smelled like angel food cake. I love this one so much. Um, limoncello. This is an older one, too. Check it out. Yellow wax. Oh, my gosh. That smells so good. Limoncello in the candle is amazing. I think we have the wallflower now in limoncello. 
And then Valentine's Day. I'm going to end with Valentine's Day. Check it out. This is actually uh, Rosewater and Ivy. Not a huge fan of this really floral scent, but um, it's kind of nice to set out like in the bathroom. Um, and even if you keep the lid off, you're going to get the scent coming off a little bit because it's so strong. But this is, I think, last year's Valentine's Day. Like I said, I like to keep the holiday ones unburned as just like collectibles. So like I said, as I go through my collection, what I do is, like I said, sometimes I just don't get to a candle and I don't burn it this year. Or um, a candle is just like too pretty to burn. And I'm like, you know what, I'm just keeping one. Or I'll buy an extra one at like... Um, so my annual sale and I'll put it in my collection. That's what happened to that mint chocolate, the green one. I bought a couple of those at semi annual sale. I have some duplicates. For the most part though, I try not to overbuy duplicates of candles only because I'm a seasonal girl. I like to go through the seasons and because I review for so many different companies, Kringle, Goose Creek, Bath and Body Works, I always have a surplus of candles around. So I, I'm never, I'm never like at a loss for something to burn, <laughs> which is good. I'm so fortunate for that. But um, that's why I tend not to buy too many like year to year. Like for example, I love lavender marshmallow. I have like half a lavender marshmallow downstairs from last year. So I definitely have um, an abundance of scents surrounding me, but I might pick one of these and just keep it on my desk, <laughs> like I said, to just smell for aromatherapy. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this Flashback Friday. Let me know if there's any candle in your collection um, that you haven't or won't burn. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Where's my mouse? I got to turn my camera off. I'm like, where's my mouse? I lost it. Bye-bye. <laughs>